Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Velma again. Uh, okay. par apparently, apparently the last episode has aired. Now, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Scooby is not a woman. Not the, not the black girl, but they did uh, desecrate the mystery machine. They turned it into a pedo wagon. <laughs> and uh, people are not not real happy about that. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Uh, in fact, some news outlets asking why Warner Brothers is even gonna bother throwing more money at this show given it's seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, it went up a percent. It went up a whole percent. Wow, because most people are just like, just end it. And they're why? Why are we doing this? Why? Why did we do it at all? Just end Velma. Put her out of her misery, right? Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about for some reason um, an eleven year old is defending Velma. Why are you letting an 11 year old watch Velma? That's a good question. Uh, I wouldn't let my 11 year old watch Velma. Hell no. And I wonder how many parents are going to let their kids, you know, mindlessly just thinking to themselves, you know, it comes up on HBO Max. You don't have the parental pin number put in or whatever. And, and kids are like, oh, look, it's Scooby-Doo. Let's watch the new Scooby-Doo show. Mm -hmm. And how many parents are going to be like, oh my God, what are you watching? I mean, it starts out with a bunch of naked girls in a shower, you know, come on. But yeah, let your 11 year old watch. <laughs> We found one kid who liked it. You're gonna a whole article on it. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 293,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Sailing toward 300,000. Uh, thank you. If you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like, uh, whatever you do, ring the bell, do all the stuff that YouTube wants you to do to let YouTube know you're a real person. Are you a real person? I I, I think so. I think so. I'm wearing my underwear. Because yeah, unreal people don't wear underwear. That's right. If you're not Look, wearing my it, hands are okay. I'm not AI. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's how you know you're not real. That's how you know you're a replicant. If it, so Blade Runner got it wrong. Uh, if you've got like 19 fingers on one <laughs> hand, that's how you know you're a replicant and you're AI. Right. So let's uh, let's talk about the mystery machine first. Right. Uh, movie web. Velma's latest Scooby-Doo retcon has fans fuming once again as season one comes to a close. Uh, Velma's season one finale couldn't pass without doing one more thing to annoy Scooby-Doo fans messing with the mystery machine. At yeah. this point, if you if you haven't figured out already, that's the whole thing. The whole show is just one giant troll. It is. So, I mean, if you're still watching it, I can't believe you're still upset because it, it, the whole thing was just intentionally made to upset you. That uh, Clearly. Velma is a show for people who hate Scooby-Doo. Basically, yeah, and hate uh, themselves too. And probably. hate themselves and hate every kind of person out there because everybody gets everybody gets roasted on the show. You don't get that they're they're a creative genius. Right. Uh so Velma has not made many friends on HBO Max over the last several weeks as the season finale was possibly one of the least anticipated closing episodes in HBO Max history. The show had one final kick for those who decided to tune in for a series that has changed almost everything possible about Scooby-Doo. It takes its inspiration from and character names of not much else. It's surprising that nothing is left uh, nothing is left as it was in the long-standing history of the franchise, and even the mystery machine is not I'm, sacred. I'm sorry, I have to laugh, but they said that you know they, they changed every possible thing about the She-Ra. I mean, Scooby-Doo franchise. It takes inspiration from the character names, not much else. You mean like they did with She-Ra? Oh. And She-Ra fans said that they were horrible people who didn't understand that it's not for them; it's for the children. <laughs> All right, so they're talking about the mystery machines always have very distinct appearance. Uh, it has not changed in all the years of reboot no. since, including the live action movies. Still, for Velma, it seems that the option of dismissing the iconic look of the vehicle proved too much to resist, with the van ending up being a white van with bad decorations that exist only for the characters to make jokes about pedophiles and creeps in windowless vans. It's not unfair to say that, like every other change made to Scooby Doo, the change has not given the show any new fans. Uh, yeah, actually, they go into more detail on screen. I love this. Fred's <laughs> not happy. Yeah, apparently Fred had this pedo wagon um, that he was going to use to help his family business. Uh, and they call it the mystery jalopy. Once you get past all the damn ads <laughs> on Screen Rant, it said that uh, it reveals that Fred bought the van as part of a plan to prove he's capable of running his parents' business. He can't cut meat, but he can run a business. Mm -hmm. Uh, working he on can the, drive, but he can't cut meat. Apparently, yeah. Working on the logic that all cool fashion advertising for teens is trashy, pedo-tinged sex stuff, Fred decides to decorate the creepy windowless white van with the logo of Jones Gentleman Accessories and to promote it. 
Uh, use it to promote the virtue of ascots, cufflinks, pocket watches, and probably um, S&M, BDSM stuff. This, this whole show is made to promote. This, this, whole, this whole show has taken Scooby-Doo into the back of the windowless white van. Right. And made it Mindy Killing's bitch. Jinkies. Um, yeah, so people not... Ha- I mean, at this point, is anybody left watching the show? I actually forgot about it for a week no, or two. No, people are because they just want to see how, how bad it goes. But by doing that, it just encourages them. Yeah, it's that's just it. And, and HBO Max, I mean, we could debate whether the numbers are accurate or, accurate or not. But they were like, hey, it's the most watched thing ever this week. It's, you know, watches... And same with He-Man. They were trying to be like, oh, He-Man, everybody's watching He-Man. Then Netflix actually dropped the numbers. And, like, nobody's watching Revelation at all. Well, it's just, um, I think someone said, I, I don't know, I didn't watch it, but they were saying that it turns out that the bad guy's actually Fred's mom, that that it was it was Velma's mom killing people or something, and Fred's mom had Spoilers! brainwashed her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, mean, nobody I didn't know cares. anybody cared. Nobody I mean, cares. I don't know if go, it's true. I, I didn't ahead. watch it. I'm just saying that's what people were saying. I don't know if it's true or not, though. You can make up any kind of ending for this, and I, I would completely believe it. At this point, like nothing's off the table. It could be like Velma kills the rest of the Mystery Inc. gang. And if there is a second season, it's literally just going to be Velma. And it turns out that she's a serial killer. Actually, that like Dexter. No, it's going to turn out that it's like Fight Club. And they're all imaginary in Velma's head. Oh, my God. Spoilers. <laughs> I would watch that show. <laughs> And the, t- the she just got model personalities. I would watch that show. Oh, my God. So it would be like, yeah, it'd be like Legion. But with Velma and then the talking dog, that's how you know that it's all fake because she imagines this talking dog. See, I was watching, um, was it Bad and Crazy? It was like a K-drama. And, yeah. and he has a, a, another personality, but he can actually talk to the personality all the time. Like he sees them all the time and talks to him. Um, and when they take each other over, you know, the, the other one can see the other one. So it's like that. They each take turns in Velma's body and Velma can see them all and thinks they're all different people. But it's all her the whole time. Okay, so it's all Velma. So uh, it's called. Let's it's see, called the, the Flash. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. The mystery. The mystery Inc. Gang. You call it Gang Bang, and it's it's Velma Dinkley with all these people up inside her. But you have to call Velma they they them because there's multiple. yeah perfect. There there you go, guys. We've actually created a better subversive Velma show than the Velma show we got. That's right. I would watch multiple personality Velma. And Scooby Doo is like a sock puppet she puts on her hand. And then she thinks it's a real dog because she always wanted Whoa! a dog and, and her parents said she can't have one. Oh, my God. That'd be great. <laughs> it's like Scooby's stress eating, not me. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, my God. That'd be great. It yeah. always sucks when Scooby tries to hump someone's leg. I mean, it gets really awkward. You know, Shaggy Shaggy is the one smoking the weed. It's not it's not Velma. It's never no. Velma. And uh, when she wants to feel extra privileged, she busts out Fred. Right. <laughs> So that's her personality. That's her white male personality. That's her, her white male personality. <laughs> like she just you know, pretends she's Fred Jones and God, I would watch, I would watch that show. I actually would watch that show. That sounds a hell of a lot better than what we got. Yep. Um, so apparently 11 year olds are allowed to watch Velma. Somebody let their 11 year old watch Velma and she's defending the show. Oh, shocker. Oh my God. I'm an 11 year old fan of Velma. Hey, now look, to be fair. 11-year-old likes the show. 11-year-old could like the show. I'm not, like, going to... You, you're allowed to like something, okay? I don't want people attacking an 11-year-old for liking the show. You're allowed to like it. That being said, most people hate it for good reason. And uh, did you watch the originals? Or is this just because it's your first... Like, people who love she never watched the original. They said, well, somebody told me it was shitty. Okay, did they verify that this was an 11-year-old? Because I'm reading the very first paragraph, and I'm like, an 11-year-old would not write this. My old account that's a 9-year-old said. <laughs> yeah, I identify as 11 years old, but I'm actually 43. Oh, my God, that's probably what it is. Okay, because I'm reading this. <sighs> I'm reading this. This is not written by an 11-year-old. Wait, are they, is it, wait, was the author, is it supposed to be the whole article's written yes. by an 11-year-old? Or is it supposed to be that someone's writing about an 11-year-old like No, it? I'm an 11-year-old fan of Velma. Here's what adults get wrong about the HBO Max series. I'm an 11-year-old fan. The very first paragraph, coming from an 11-year-old, both left-wing and right-wing adults seem to think Mindy Kaling ruined national treasure Scooby-Doo with her remake Velma, but they've got it backward. Velma is funny. Scooby-Doo was weird and trashy. I'm 11 years old, the target audience for the original Scooby-Doo, so you can trust me when I say the old show was never that good. Uh Bullshit. Bullshit. This is not written by an Mm 11-year-old. All the bullet points. This has got to be a troll. We're going to get to the bottom of this and see if it's a troll. You pull the mask off the 11-year-old and it's like a 42-year-old guy with 
flags and pronouns in his Twitter bio. Or a white woman named, you know, Becky. Becky. If you haven't heard of it yet, Velma is an animated mystery comedy on HBO. Kaling voices Velma. No, this is not written by... This is written in, like, AP style, but now the characters... The ca- stuff, it's it's tracking both men and women. women. Okay. Funny. Conservatives are mad about a race, sexuality, and personality. Liberals are mad that the teen detective isn't that great of a feminist. She has a crush on Fred, your typical rich white guy. This is not written by an 11-year-old. Let's get to the... Cut to the fucking chase here. No. No, it's not a joke. Well, I'm sure it is a joke. They're it's trying a to say joke, it. but there's no way this is written by an actual 11-year-old or it was the 11-year-old daughter of one of the writers. Scooby Doo the dog is missing from Velma. Don't worry, though. He was never that important to the plot of the original show. Even as a dog person, I don't care. Scooby was never really that great or much of a dog. Scooby's jokes, if you can even call them that, were never funny. I get it. He eats a lot and is a scaredy cat. Hilarious. He's basically a combination of Marmaduke and Astro from the Jetsons. Okay, wait, I'm I'm supposed to believe this 11-year-old knows Marmaduke? And the Jetsons? Okay, the Jetsons I can see before Marmaduke. It's a combination of Marmaduke and Astro. Nothing to miss here. This, okay, now- I call bullshit! You know what's really sad? I can't tell the difference between this supposed 11-year-old writing this article and, like, a 27-year-old gaming journalist. Like, the, the, the- Wording is exactly the same. The language is exactly the same. The, the snarky tone is exactly the same. This is some this is some horseshit. This is not an 11 year old. You cannot convince me this is an 11 year old. Um, I like Velma. I admire Mindy Kaling. It's funny. Well, a funny, well animated show starring my favorite actress, not something to start an Internet war of that. That's about the only sentence in this whole thing that sounds like something an 11 year old would write. I don't think 11 year old write that her favorite actress is Mindy Kaling. 11-year-old. No. 11-year-old wouldn't know who Mindy Kaling is. I mean, if you watch The Office or whatever. because Which our kids came did. out before she was born. I, well, our daughter, when she was younger, watched it. So she might have said it because she watched The Office. But I don't believe... It, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The joke about being mad about having to walk home and it was right next door is funny because I hate walking, too. I'm like... What? 11-year-old. No. No. This is bull. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I don't, I don't buy this for one minute and I can't see who. Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. I call bull. How many I times I said it? I don't want to get demonetized, but yeah, it's, it's garbage. There's no point in defending the show anymore. This is her latest last ditch attempt to make it stick. Yeah. This 11, 11 year old. Trust me with no proof. That it's an 11 year old. Wink, wink. I say I'm 11. I don't write like I'm 11, and I no. suppose I know what Marmaduke is. But, you no. know, believe me, I'm 11. Hey there, fellow kids. Yes, that's exactly how it screams. Uh, so it's interesting, though. You know, this is, uh, again, coming from uh, Movie Web. They're like, why in the hell would they give Velma a second season when they scrapped better shows, more beloved shows, more watch shows? And, again, I think it comes down to her contract. And I think it was the fact they probably greenlit the thing before. Well, yeah, I think the second you know? season was already going. I think, I think it was one season split in the two, just like Netflix does all the time. God. So there we go, guys. This is the, the last sad gasp of, of Velma. I, I do like your version until of they, Velma. Until they have to do it again for second season two. Can't they just do like Fred? Like everything's Fred? No, I don't want that. That'd be even worse. Let's just call it Fred. Or, or like do the same. Actually, it'd be funny as if you had the same story told from. Like the Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, like one different. One version's hers and one version's. Yeah, one version's except they would Christian actually Grey, go there. They would go there. Anastasia but like Steel. have, yeah, like have. Here's Fred's version. Here's Daphne's version. Here's Shaggy's version of events and like everybody's like completely different races and everything <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? and then you find out that like the original scooby-doo was actually fred's version of scooby-doo where he was a leader and everybody was white and straight <laughs> was, the dog it was, talked it was you know the, the model person i think could be like too you know the reason she she had a dog named scooby once like i hit by a car or something by a white van and um, with no windows. And that's why she you know, reimagined everybody in her head and had oh the puppet God. Scooby and everything else because she was traumatized. <laughs> and she didn't want to be associated. And it was, and she saw the teens that were driving the van. So she changed them all in her head to make them her friends. Oh, my God. And they were just like the, the assholes that would never have anything to do with it. Because let's be honest, those kids wouldn't have anything to do with Velma in real life. Like, because I remember watching Scooby-Doo when I was 11 years old. And I was like, why are they hanging out with this librarian? Like, I'm yeah. like, she wasn't, I didn't even dawn on me that Velma was a kid. I thought she was like the teacher and then they were just like hanging out with her for I don't know. some reason. 
I just think this is a giant shit show. <laughs> and that article was not written by an 11 year old. It was not. So we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.